Okay, so here's my first turnaround with the skeleton. Oh, I forgot to close, close the layers. So I actually like this one a lot about how um, how wide a person is by with the three heads over here, and how the average person is like seven to eight heads tall. Because when I'm drawing on my own, like before this class, I would have a feeling like I wouldn't know if I made my character's legs too small or too long, and everything would just look weird. And then I think I have it, and then I like I'm like, oh, this this art is pretty good. <laughs> but then it's like I look at it the next day or a week later, and it's like I shouldn't have posted that online. And then I delete the embarrassment. So. I'm really glad I actually learned how wide a person is and how um, how tall a person is too. So I'm really glad about that, honestly. And uh, I'm trying to do it in order. So I think this is the next one right here where we add the muscles to it. Oh, not the muscles, but the shapes. Honestly. <laughs> Your class is pretty hard, but I mean like I love digital art. That's like my most favorite artsy thing to do I've been practicing since like the beginning of high school because My brother he got like a new tablet or something. So he gave me his like super old one What's is terrible by now because it's super old, but I've been drawing on that and practicing and that's when I was like Ah oh, digital art is pretty cool. You don't got to pay for color pencils. You don't got to get expensive color materials and um you don't have to worry about like running out of pages if you mess up you could just erase it's, it's just amazing especially uh layering too all right yeah i mean i struggled a lot on this one i think i struggled a lot on both but yeah i'm like so motivated to like keep practicing now and with the uh, figure drawings too i would use line of action here and there on my own time well sorry anyways i don't know if i should do them in order sorry so i guess i just compare it the same layers to all the other ones so this is my first time figure drawing for my 30 seconds <gasps> At first, it's like, oh, it's pretty easy, just stick figures, okay, easy project, I'll be done in like, 30 seconds, <laughs> but it's, it's a whole lot harder than that, and I, I see that now, and so, I mean, I'm trying my best, so that's all I could do right now, I guess, um, here is my other 30 seconds, um, I've been using a, a gray background, too, because it makes the sketches look nicer, and plus, like, when you're using the brush tool with a white background, it's like super hard to see that tiny white circle. And I should probably be answering the questions that were recommended on the uh, the website, the assignment. <laughs> so, what have I learned about human proportions this month? Um, like I said earlier about how wide and how tall they can be. That was that's super helpful. I'm gonna start drawing everything now with figures and shapes first. I used to pretend I knew what I was doing, like in like middle school or something. I would do like a fake figure drawing, but I didn't actually know what those proportions was. I just wanted like kids at school to know to make it look like I knew what I was doing, which is like doing the plus sign on the face. But I mean, yeah, I just thought I just thought I was like so cool and professional, even though I had no idea what I was gonna make out of it. I'm trying to go to my other one. And, I mean, I'm proud of this one. I mean, it could be better, but then again, I mean, I take long to do everything. <laughs> I don't think 25 minutes is enough. Uh, what is it? What are some important aspects of the human and skeletal and muscular structures that you do not know about before? Um, honestly, I just, the part was like, I'm gonna see if I have a better example of it, which I probably do. Oh, I can't find it. Oh, this one. Where, I thought this part is very interesting right here. Where it's like, their neck kind of goes forward. And it's like, 
how it slants into this little, I don't know what to call this, like this dip, and then it comes back out. Like, when, when I just think of, like, someone standing straight up, I just thought it would just be, like, the whole thing, like, even, like, their stomach is just gonna go, like, straight down until, like, I'm learning about it, watching the live lectures, and I'm, like, touching my whole body, trying to figure out if that, all those proportions are true or not, and so, I mean, that was, like, probably the coolest thing, and now it's, like, when I'm, like, at work with this owl, I just start seeing everyone with the little dip in their back and then it goes back out but then it's like yeah i should probably stop staring at people also just look like a weirdo <laughs> and was this my first time figure drawing how did it feel at first yeah i i, I never <laughs> i never had a build up before i would just try drawing them like if i'm trying to draw a hand or a face i would like start with like nose and eyes and just but like, you know what, this is hard, I give up for tonight, you know? But, this has been super helpful. Now that when I draw my own time, this is going to be a whole lot easier. At, at least I hope. How do you think the information you learned here will... He, uh, how do you think it would help you in the future? <laughs> um, yeah, like I said before, this is really going to help. I'm so glad. I was, I was, um... When I was first, when I first heard about this school, I was like, Ugh, if it's all an online class, I might as well just look up video tutorials on YouTube, you know? But then I was like, uh, I've been looking up YouTube videos for like, since <laughs> uh, high school, and I've kind of gotten nowhere or gave up, you know? But it's like, now if I have to draw for assignments, I really push, my, push myself. So, I'm really glad I joined, like. The only thing I'm worried about is, I feel like there's so much to learn, and I don't know if I'll be able to learn it in, like, the three or four years that I have here. But I'm really grateful for the things I, ugh, I'm grateful for the things that I am learning here. It's pretty cool, and I'm really glad I do it. When people are like, oh, what school do you go to? It's like, oh, <laughs> I go to Los Angeles Film School. <laughs> it's like, nobody knows what that is. And it's like, I try to be humble about it, but it's like... I kind of accidentally brag, like, yeah, I got 3D modeling for homework. I got to draw for homework. Oh, you're doing math? Oh, no, but, oh, sorry. My cat jumped on me. Anyways, yeah, I'm really grateful for this school and this class.